Hi, hey, I'm Mark Trinidad. I'm uh, I'm here at the World Comedy Clash. Because we have Trinidad and Tobago, so I'll let Mark represent Trinidad. I represent Trinidad. Trinidad's the <laughs> island, which Mark Trinidad is. <laughs> Ow! You know, my wingspan. You get your, all his ears in there? That's what I'm saying. I don't know how they fit that. Look, you have to twist it too. Why you gotta be like that? <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, give it up for my main man, Mr. Mark Trinidad. I'm going to do this uh, joke specifically for the ladies. Guys have no idea what I'm going to talk about. They don't want you to know this. I'm going to tell you. Okay, so make sure you pay attention. Men hide this from you. Okay. When a man goes to a club, this is how it works. We take two rounds inside that club. Why are we doing that? We are looking for the top 10% of the women in that club. Why are we doing that? Because we want to try and get with the top 10% of them women. Nice, right? We know we're not going to get through. But to win the lottery, you have to buy a ticket, right? You have to at least try, right? Now, when we can't get through with those 10%, we move on to the next 80%, okay? Some of y'all doing math, stop it. <laughs> Calm down, I know what I'm doing. The next 80%. And if, God forbid, that we fail to succeed with those 80%, we go with the last 10% at the end of the night because we have to go home with somebody, right? This is what we do. The last 10% is usually them fat girls lying in by the bathroom, right? Now, <laughs> somebody is making that last 10% feel special. Somebody making them feel like they're in the top 10%. So let me talk to you Jamaican men right now. Stop that nonsense, you're messing it up for everybody. We're tired of you. <laughs> Just waiting to see one of them little pointers. Yeah, but I like your blo <clears throat> blouse and skirt. Shush your mouth. You know the hell I was going to say, calm down. <laughs> We have any young people in here? Anybody young? Anybody in the teens? Early 20s? Do you have any of you all in there? They're all upstairs. That's because I can't see you all. I can see the lady up front that said she in her teens. She wrong. <laughs> Maybe in the metric system. Um, <laughs> They have a lot of crimes being perpetrated by young people nowadays and everybody wants to find out what the problem is. Everybody comes up with their own theories. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with our youth today? Is it the media? Is it the violence on TV? Is it the web pages that they go through? Is it the video games that they play? Are they desensitized? Blah, 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 blah. It's none of that. We lost these kids long before they became teenagers. Long before. And it's about time we put blame squarely on the shoulders on which it belongs. It's them idiots that write nursery rhymes. It's all their fault. See, some of y'all don't understand this. I'll explain it to you. There's violence, discrimination, and hate written in to know. You don't see it? I'll explain it to you. Watch it. rock a -bye, baby on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the ball breaks, that cradle will fall. Down will come, baby, cradle and all. One, who in their right mind puts their child on a treetop? Who does that? Huh? And then is not even considerate enough to put that child on a branch that could support their weight in a light breeze. And when that child falls, and how, sir, does he know he's going to fall? You told him in the nursery and he's going to fall. And there's a crib following his backside down. You told him that. He doesn't have colic. He's scared. That's why they shoot their parents first. You see, that's why. I... Okay, you're not seeing it yet. Don't worry. That's not yet. Watch, watch, watch. Three blind mice. 
see how they run. <laughs> it's okay to make fun of the handicap. See, that's what they're teaching. That's what they're teaching. That's why some of y'all are looking at my head right now thinking, oh, he's handicapped. <laughs> it's a clean show. I'm not going to talk about my ears tonight. <laughs> These aren't ears, darling. They're leg rests, okay? You understand that? <laughs> All right, now, everybody that got that joke, explain it to the Jamaican. Um... <laughs> I am Trinidadian, I love to dip in the salt. Anyway, um, back to the nursery rhymes. I didn't forget, all right, I didn't forget. Okay, okay, more the nursery rhymes, all right? <laughs> Shh. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Three bags full, one for my master. <laughs> Master! Which KKK Grand Wizard came up with that little ditty, huh? Uh, the black sheep has a master, but the white lamb could follow Mary everywhere she goes. Where's the equality? He's a stalker! Arrest him! He followed her to school one day, and that's against the rules. You don't see it yet? All right, okay, hold on. Rubber dub dub. Three men in a tub. Yo, when's the last time you turned to your partner, your brethren, your horse, and you look at him and say, yo, I feel dirty, guy. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna take a bath? <laughs> yes, great, bring a friend. <laughs> you never did that. But who was in that bathtub? Let us investigate who was in that bathtub. A butcher, a baker, a candlestick maker, meat, buns, hot wax. That's a fetish party. That's a recruitment drive. You're not catching me like that. You're damn twitchy man. I uh... <laughs> Sorry, I don't know where I learned that terminology from. Now I agree, don't get me wrong, I might be making fun of nursery rhymes, but I agree, let's get rid of the crime, right? There's a lot of black on black crime going on, and we need to stop that nonsense, right? However, there are people trying to come up with ways to stop the crime. You should know about this one particular person. I'm going to tell you about him. We won't use his real name. He's a councilman in Scarborough. We'll call him Uncle Thompson. <laughs> He came up with this plan to combat the crime that we have nowadays. Here's his plan. We are going to stop people, black young men, between the ages of 9 and 39, and randomly search them for guns. He's saying that racial profiling is okay. By round of applause, do you all think that is a good idea? That is a brilliant idea. <laughs> you don't see it, I'll explain why. It is so brilliant, we need to take this to everybody's culture, right? You don't see it? Okay, the next time we have a pileup on the garden, let's go down Spadina Avenue and stop everyone Asian with a driver's permit. Let's stop them and ask them where they was. You see, you're not seeing it yet, okay. When a young girl disappears, Let's stop every white man between the ages of 9 and 99 and ask him where he was. Or oh, you're still not seeing it. Good. Let's, when we have a little boy that disappears, let us go to every Roman Catholic church and ask Father O'Reilly where he was. Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs>